Americans saw a tiny bit of relief at the gas station this week, but with the national average still over $5, it's not enough to ease the pain at the pump. I actually work for gas. <laughs> I work for gas, I work for food. This as pressure for President Biden to do something mounts. But at a virtual meeting with leaders from some of the world's biggest economies, the president focused on fighting the climate crisis, something the administration believes will ultimately bring down prices as opposed to drilling for more oil. Russia's war is driving up prices of gas. Everybody knows that. Hurting people in all our countries. It's an immediate problem. We can remove the pain of volatile gas prices and reduce transportation emissions by putting more zero emission cars on the road. But according to a recent Fox poll, voters are not buying White House attempts to blame Russia's war for high gas prices, instead pointing to policy as the driving force by an 18 point margin. Critics say the president's plan to tackle the climate while bringing down gas prices is an impossible task. The reason that we're in this mess is because for years and years and years they have said no more drilling on federal lands, no more drilling, period. Americans could see some relief at the gas pump courtesy of the White House. The administration is reportedly weighing the idea of issuing gas rebate cards, but they stress no final decision has been made. In Washington, Malva Rivera, Fox News.